If you are a motion designer or video editor, using Rotor Brush tool in After Effects is an excellent way to add some elements like text, motion graphics behind your subjects but in front of your background. It feels naturally they are part of your scene and the good things about this feature is that it's really easy to apply. So let's jump in After Effects to do one example. Start by duplicating your footage layer. This is because when you isolate the subject, everything else will disappear, leaving only the subject on that layer while the scene remains intact in the original. Choose the top layer and select the Roto Brush tool. With the tool selected, double click on the footage to open it in new window. Now click and drag over the areas you want to include in a section. Your initial selection may not be perfect and some unwanted areas may be included. To remove those, hold down Alt or Option on Mac key, which changes the brush to red, and click on areas you want to exclude. A useful tip is to change the size of the brush as needed. To do this, hold Ctrl or Command on Mac and click drag up and down to adjust brush size. Alternatively, you can manually change the brush size by going to Window and Brush. If your subject has fine details like hair or intricate edges, you'll need to use the Refine Edge tool. Click and hold down the Roto Brush icon until you see the Refine Edge tool, and then drag over the detailed areas. The white parts of the selection represent the areas that are included, while the black areas are excluded. Press a space to render your selection. If you notice any issues in a certain frames, you can manually correct them by refining the mask. Now it's time to add your elements, such as text or motion graphics. You can enhance the text by applying a glue effect to make it pop. For final touches, add an adjustment layer and apply lumetri color to tweak the exposure, contrast, and color of the scene behind your subject, ensuring everything looks cohesive. And that's it, you've successfully integrated elements into your scene using Roto Brush and refining your composition. Okay my friends, hope you liked this video, but before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment to help me to create more content. See you in the next video.